for DAC Healthcare Zoom and Update. My name is Ellen Wynn. If you guys don't know who I am, I am an independent agent. I've been with DAC since June of 2018, and I love DAC. I love our services, and I'm very passionate about this particular program with our healthcare. So that's why I kind of volunteered to do this, and I, I'm honored that um, David Rutz, our company founder, is allowing me to do these every Tuesday. So glad that you're here. Uh, I try to keep these short. We'll keep it under 30 minutes each week and give you some valuable information. So uh, we should be live on YouTube now. Is that right, Morgan? We sure are. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'll get us going then. All right, guys, today I want to cover um, a few things from our website. One, specifically our DAC uh co-branded page with Clearwater. And I want to play a video for you that is not on our DAC Healthcare page. It's the same presenter, uh, Jason Sherman, who is the CEO founder of Clearwater, but he's got a great message. And then I want to talk about the message that he shares here. So let me get us into clear into screen share mode. Let me go back and make sure I've got that video pulled up. I think I do. I thought I did. Well, I see him on the Zoom page instead. Be right back. Here we go. Awesome. Okay, this is Jason Sherman. <laughs> About 80% of the people that we talk to, and we're in all 50 states and thousands of people, uh, pick the Clearwater Health Solution. We started this solution with three main goals. Number one, we want to save people on what it costs every month, the fixed expense or premium. The second thing we really want to do was boost the quality of their network and their healthcare options. We hear a lot of complaints on very thin networks with limited abilities to go to doctors. We really wanted to fix that. The third, which is a big one most people don't pay attention to, but is very important, which is what's the max you're responsible to pay out of pocket? And we had a goal to reduce that. Since starting the Clearwater Health Solution, we've been able to achieve all three goals in all 50 states. Our average savings for a self-employed person is 10,000 a year. That's the fixed expense. We've been able to upgrade the network, second goal, to a PPO network, one of the largest in the country, and an even wider network of options for hospitals, surgeons, or anything serious. And the number we're probably most proud of is we reduced the out-of-pocket risk by 80%. So when something happens of surgery and illness, you go to the hospital, on average, for our customers, it's about 80% less than a traditional plan. So we're very proud of the fact that we've been able to do that in an environment where individual insurance has become so inexpensive and at the same time has gotten worse over time. Less doctors, less options, less coverage. So that's the reason why I think so many people find that as a good fit. It's not the best fit for everyone, but for the majority of people we talk to, that's their uh, best option because our goal is to get our customers the best plan at the best price. And sometimes that solution isn't the best option for them. So we have lots of options. But for those that want that goal of saving money, improving their network, decreasing their out-of-pocket risk, the Clearwater Health Solution has been a very powerful uh, tool and solution for our customers and it's why I think we've had such a high retention rate. Well over 90% of our customers renew the plan, which tells you they're really working and people are happy with them. And we are going to continue to look for the best innovations, the best price, the best structure to achieve those three goals. Awesome, awesome. All right, so I want to take you over to some plans and talk to you a little bit more in detail about that. If you see 90% renewal rate, that's amazing. And guys, if you're looking at this on a residual income basis, our healthcare plans are probably one of the stickiest programs you're going to find. Every time you enroll someone in our health share plan, it puts 40 in residual revenue value, 40 residual revenue dollars into the compensation plan that you are going to earn 20 to 50% of that each and every month that the client stays on the book. So uh, year after year with a 90% retention rate, can't you see how you can build a book of business sharing our healthcare plans? P 
people come on board, they're going to stick and stay and renew year after year. And you're just continuing to grow your personal book of business. Now, building your personal book of business is how you're going to build your income, whether you're building a team or not. Um, building a personal book of business helps you earn a higher percentage of the $40 residual revenue that goes into the comp plan each month, 20 to 50% of that, so 8 to $20. The way you get to the higher end of that is to have higher personal client revenue. And then if you're building a team, that's also going to uh, mirror what you're doing on your enroller match, whether you're earning 20 to 50% on that. And then it's also going to help you uh, build through your network of agents. Just imagine if you had a network of agents and everybody uh, at least enrolled in the plan themselves because they see a great benefit with the health care. And then they signed up a few friends or family members even. You would have a huge network with a huge volume of residual revenue each and every month. And when you can earn 25% of that, on your seven level pay, you're looking at uh, several hundred, potentially several thousand dollars a month in residual revenue. So I'm passionate about this program, not only because of the, the residual revenue that I just referenced, but because of the value that it brings. So I wanna cover a few more of the benefits because I believe that anytime you have belief in a service, um, you're more likely to promote it just like I reference sharing a great movie or talking about a great restaurant. When someone asks your opinion, if you know of something good, you're always eager to share. And I want you to understand the benefits that we have to, to offer with our healthcare plan. So I'm going to go over to, um, this is our Clear DAC co-branded page. Just as a, um, um, a warning here, you don't want to go directly to this page without going through your DAC healthcare page first. This is where you land after you fill out the form on dachealthcare.com. You can go to this page and you can look around and, and look at all the different services, all the different videos, all the different informational pieces that are there, but you never want to send a client there because the client's got to go through your dachealthcare.com website first, fill out the form, then they're connected to you as the referral agent, right? But right now, I want to take us over to HealthShare. As we talk about these plans, you know, we say it's HealthShare. It is not insurance, but it looks, works, and feels just like a typical insurance plan. Um, one of the things that I personally look at it is, is I'm glad that it's not an insurance product. One, um, because you don't have to be licensed to refer it as a DAC agent, right? We can refer it, and we're getting paid on the non-licensed part of this plan. Another benefit of it not being a licensed product is that it's available in all 50 states. When you look at traditional insurance products, they're on a state-by-state -state basis because insurance is regulated on a state-by-state -state basis. Since this is not a insurance product, it is available in all 50 states. So if you have a company that is based in multiple states, their employees that live here in Georgia, where I live, um, can be on the same plan that someone in Michigan or in Texas is on, and that PPO network is nationwide. So you're not having to pick insurance providers specific to a state like you do with a lot of the traditional insurance carriers, um, because ours is nationwide, same plan in all 50 states. Uh, so those are a couple of things that I really like about it not being a licensed product. Um, let's go through the benefits. And as I said, it looks, feels, and works exactly like insurance, but it's not insurance. Here's why it works like insurance, because it really has a PPO insurance network built in on the day-to-day -day stuff, which is where you see your co-pays. But I want to go through uh, starting here with the preventative care. I'm going to cover these first two columns, the advanced and plus clear share and the basic plus clear share. The clear share piece is the non-licensed share program that's there to cover the big dollars in the event of a hospitalization, uh, emergency room visit, surgery, physical therapy, things like that that are gonna cost a lot of money uh, out of pocket. And our plans are gonna cover that. But the day-to-day -day stuff is really covered by that PPO network, which is a traditional insurance product. We're not getting paid on that. We get paid on the combination of the PPO network with the clear share, okay? 
but they're packaged together. So when you market one of these programs, if the client comes on board with a ClearShare product, then that's where we get commissioned on that. Okay, so you get co the coverages preventative care. And that's everything from all of your well visits to colonoscopies, mammography, um, all of the major preventative care that's covered under the Affordable Care Act. You can go to uh, healthcare.gov and look up preventative services, what's under the ACA mandates. And everything that's on here is covered under our preventative care for free, as long as people go to an in-network doctor to do their preventative care, if they're on the advanced or basic plan or even on our HSA plans. And then we have our primary doctor visit. That copay is all they pay. They go, they make an appointment for their uh, local doctor, go, go to the visit, they pay $20 and that's the cost of the visit unless the doctor does some additional blood work or something on that line, then they may have to pay that blood work fee of $10 to the lab. Uh, if they've got the advanced plan, if they have the basic plan, they may have to pay some cash for the blood work, lab work that was done at the doctor visit. But those primary doctor visits at $20 and a specialist doctor visit at $50, those are tremendous benefits to the end consumer. Now, let's move on down the list here to our 24-7 telemedicine. We have added the AMAZE portion of our coverage, which is a separate app inside. So any member that signs up for Clearwater Health Plans or the DAC Healthcare, um, they're going to automatically get that 24-7 access to telemedicine. And that's my favorite part of having that app in my pocket, being able to call a doctor, talk to someone virtually either on the phone or video and be able to get healthcare questions answered. You know, if you've got a rash, I, a couple of years ago, I got into poison oak in my yard and I was just covered up. I was able to do a telemedicine visit and they could look at the rash from the video on my arm. They were able to call in some antibiotics and an antibiotic cream and really get that headed off quickly. So 24 seven allows you access to a doctor overnight. A lot of times emergency room visits are created because someone is sick or a child is sick and they don't know whether it's life threatening or not. And a lot of times people go to an emergency room and are faced with a huge cost of that doctor's visit that may not have been necessary. So having that 24 seven telemedicine access uh, can prevent someone from going in and really racking up charges that they didn't have to do, but maybe they were scared, thought that it was life-threatening, but weren't sure. So they went ahead and played on the safe side. And then to find out um, if they had talked to a doctor through telemedicine, they may have prevented that charge altogether. And that's included for free. Another thing that's included for free that you're not going to find on traditional health insurance is our health care on Talkspace, mental health care, where you get a 30 minute visit. Every month you can talk to the same counselor and really get whatever's bothering you, talk through it and work it out. And once you start working with a counselor, if you like them, you can continue doing text support throughout the month and it's included on that Talkspace coverage. Um, another benefit of our program that is really a tremendous benefit back to where Jason Sherman is talking about how we prevent, um, eliminate that out-of-pocket cost and save about 80% overall is our care coordination service. Um, when you have that, if you need something that is outside of the primary doctor visit or the specialist or any of these that have a copay with the advanced plan, when you need something that's going to get into that out-of-pocket max or even with your more expensive imaging that is a $200 copay, um, if you know it's pre-scheduled, you can go through our care coordination and that care coordination allows our members to call in and pre-schedule something. And as long as the client or member goes through the recommended care provider, then they can eliminate their out-of-pocket cost altogether. So those are just some of the benefits of the health care that we offer versus what else is out there. And I really want you guys to see that. Um, the number one reason that 
I hear from agents saying that they're not marketing this plan is that they don't believe in it. But I assure you, the deeper and closer you look at the DAC Healthcare Program and our products partnered with Clearwater, you're going to really fall in love with what we have to offer. I've been using this as my personal health care now since August of last year, and I've done all of my preventative care. Um, I added on a dental plan to mine, and I just started with braces three weeks ago. I'm on my I'm starting my third week today with Invisalign, clear, clear um Invisalign liners. And I'm so excited. I've been putting off getting braces for years. And this product as an add-on to the ClearShare plan gave me the ability to have, I'm going to come off the screen share, um, gave me the ability to have $1,000 in orthodontic coverage that's not limited to uh, 18 or under like most dental plans do. And there's no waiting period on it. So not only am I able to get my annual cleaning visits, a couple of those for free each year, I'm able to get contribution towards orthodontics. And, um, you know, I, I'm just, I'm using the plan and I'm, I love what we have to offer. So you can market this plan, rest assured that your client's going to be in a great situation. If they're not, then our benefits consultants at Clearwater will tell them, hey, this isn't a great fit for you because of um, really the only time I see that it would not be a great fit is if someone has a pre-existing condition which would exclude them, and that would be um, heart attack, stroke, or cancer uh, in the past five years, okay? And then um, if they're a smoker, if they're over 50 and they're a smoker and using any type of tobacco product, including vaping, then this is not going to be a great product for them because their coverage is going to be limited um, if they have a respiratory illness and they're a smoker or using vaping products. So um, I, that's what I wanted to cover today. I see I've got a hand up. I'll open up to questions or comments. Let me go to uh, phone number starting with 978 and ask you to unmute. You may have to press star to be able to unmute your phone. Can you unmute? I've asked you to unmute. You may, there you go. I think you're unmuted. Nope, you're still muted. Okay, 978. I'll try one more time. I think you have to press star to be able to unmute yourself or find the unmute there on your phone. Doesn't look like that's going to work. Okay, anybody else got questions, comments, anything in the chat there that we need to address, Morgan? I don't have anything on my end. Nothing on your end. All right. Well, guys, like I said, I always want to keep these less than 30 minutes so that you can get some beneficial information and move on with your day. But please keep healthcare top of mind because if you listen to the statistics that Jason gave on individual 1099 workers, self-employed workers, they're really limited on their options for health care. So if you do nothing else, if you don't have any other conversations about DAC this week, at least think of who do you know that is self-employed and reach out to them and just ask the question, hey, I got a question. What are you guys doing for health care? And get the conversation started because you'll be amazed at what you hear in return and if they're not happy with their plan or if they're paying too much or maybe they don't have coverage at all because a large percentage, 30 percent of independent workers do not have health care at all, health care coverage. And they're really setting themselves up for a huge financial risk should they have a critical illness or major emergency that could rack up hospital bills uh, if they don't have any type of coverage at all. So do yourself and your friends and acquaintances a favor by getting the conversation started, see who is in need of our help and get them through the quote process. Take them through your DACHealthcare.com site, click on the get a quote button at the very bottom of the page, fill out the form. And once they submit that, then they're gonna get a quote by email. 
Um, and that's going to put them in the follow-up system from the Clearwater team where they get automated emails and automatic automated text messages. I do see a hand up with David Stark. I'm going to go to David real quick. Hey, David, how are you doing today? Good. Good, Alan. Uh, uh, this may be a silly question, but can I print off those charts you just showed? Uh, you know, the uh, can I print those off so I can have them right in my hand? Absolutely. You've got access to those. So um, you can get there by going through your DAC healthcare.com webpage, fill out the form on your website, and it's going to take you to that page that we were just on. Fill out the form to request a quote or? Um, any of them. Any, any of them. If you click on the more information page, fill that okay. out. It'll you over to the clear DAC co-branded page and once you're there um, you can just click on all the different tabs but the one I went to specifically is the first drop down and it just says health share don't click on the second window just click on health share in general and it'll take you to that side-by-side -side chart that was on the web page okay I may have to practice that one a little bit but uh, I'll, I'm sure I can find it yeah. And you know what? That practice will do you good. That's how I found it was going in, perusing the site, getting familiar with it so that I could guide my clients to great information if need be. But it was also a great learning experience for me to really have an understanding of what we have to offer. So have fun doing that. I appreciate the question. I'm sure you weren't the only one thinking that. I, I, I find it difficult to know where to direct the clients because they're just not um, they're used to having somebody sell them a policy they're not used to having somebody say I'm a marketer or I'm an affiliate or an agent so they're uh, I think that's kind of it's hard to get them to go into where they need to go you know to follow the system through so that's true and if you um, if you go back on the first training that I did when I started doing these weekly trainings I took you through exactly what I do, and I'll give you a brief overview because I'm sure there are a lot of people that haven't seen that. Um, when I talk to someone that's interested in healthcare, if they happen to call me and I'm not in front of my computer, I say, hey, I'd like to get in front of my computer and walk you through a quote. Uh, can I call you back? And I set a time, and then I call them back while I'm at home in front of in my home office in front of my computer and I take them through over the phone. I ask them the questions. I open up my DACHealthcare.com page. I fill in their name. I fill in their phone number. I fill in their email address, and I click continue, and then it takes, if I'm clicking on the get a quote button, it takes me directly over to the get a quote, and it says, hey, we just need to ask a few questions or answer a few questions to get started. There are about 15 different questions, and you're just reading off the page verbatim what that page says, um, let them answer the question and you click on and move on through and it gets to the very last page of that quote there, David, and it's going to ask for their name, phone number, email address again, what state they're located in. And when you click on submit, it is going to give you an on-screen quote with three different options. The one in the middle will be the one recommended based on the way that the questions were answered. And then you'll have a couple other options, maybe a basic plan or one with a different deductible. Um, they're also going to start receiving those emails from Clearwater and the text message follow-ups once you've gotten to that point. But what I do is after I see that, that online quote, what that amount is, I always tell the client, I'll say, hey, I've got great news. Uh, one other thing, David, before I do the quote, I get some more information. I say, hey, is this going to be just for you? Um, do you guys have any pre-existing conditions like heart, atta heart attack, cancer, or stroke in the past five years? I go ahead and get that out of the way. Um, but then I also ask, what are you currently paying for insurance? So I know what that number is. That way, when I see what the online quote is, I know it's a good number for them, right? And I'll typically say, hey, I've got some great news. What if we could take that $1,200 a month payment that you're making right now and we could bring you down to $743, right? So I've got those numbers for comparison. If they like the numbers when we get the quote back, then I go ahead and I book them on a call with our benefits team. So I'll go ahead on my website while I've got them on the phone. It takes about five minutes for the whole process, but now I'm seeing them through from start to finish 
and it it solves the problem that you just stated that most people don't know where to navigate so if you'll go back through look for that first training that i did that's in the playlist there david it'll yeah. take you through the visual of what i just explained take you through step by step everything that i do and if you'll practice that and get good with that then you'll have getting healthcare clients sure to uh, the biggest the biggest part of the problem will be for you to have enough conversations with the right people to get them started in the quote process. Does okay. that help you? That does that, very much. Awesome. Thank you, Ella. You're so welcome. Thanks for the question. We've got one more question here with Christopher Sanchez. Hey, Christopher, how are you today? Good, Ellen. How are you doing today? Uh, I don't have I'm a great. question. I don't have a question as much as... Uh, um, the gentleman who was just speaking before, I believe his name was David. One of yes. the things with our services, um, and I know I did this in the beginning, I wanted to refer people to our site. But in time, I found out we really need to have these conversations with people, with business owners and what have you. Um, example, with the health insurance, I've been talking to a company with 38 employees for the past probably had six conversations already and it has constantly been on how they've been pleased with their current provider. Well, just the last conversation we had, I said, you know, I appreciate you sharing your time and explaining to me all the different benefits that you're receiving that you like, but what don't you like? And that one question changed the whole topic now. So, um, and again, I did this in the beginning also, but we really need to sit down to have conversations, preferably face to face, so we can better understand the needs of the people that we're talking to. I just wanted to share that brief bit. Ellen, thank you so much for sharing your time with us. I find everything very insightful. Thank you. Thank you, Christopher. I appreciate your kind words and your insight on that. And um, a little add on to what you just said. I like doing face to face too, but my face-to-face -face preference is Zoom because I can meet with someone, spend 30 minutes on a Zoom meeting and be on another Zoom meeting immediately after. So if you take an eight-hour day, 30-minute increments, you can do 16 appointments face-to-face -face using Zoom. If you tried to do 16 face-to-face -face appointments, uh, unless everybody's coming to you and everybody ends exactly on time, it's not possible. So um, I prefer phone and I prefer Zoom as my meeting of choice. I just find they're more productive than actually doing face-to-face. -face. I'll do a lot of intros and, and meeting people initially face-to-face, -face, but when it comes to doing the quote, I'm typically doing it from my home computer, either by phone or by Zoom. So thank you for that insight. Guys, I said we'll keep this be be below 30 minutes. I'm about to get off and go do a business opportunity presentation. So thanks for joining us here today. We'll see you next week on the Healthcare Zoom and make sure you join us tomorrow at 1130 where we have Mr. Wade Cordell coming in from Bank Breezy giving his insights on business funding. Don't forget, we've got a huge recruiting incentive this month. Let's go bring some new people to the DAC opportunity.